you're into resin 3D printing, today we're gonna be testing out a resin by Jam He. It's brought to you by Cheeto Systems, so it's probably really good. We're gonna test it out today. Stay tuned. Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some resin for my Elegu Mars today, or your resin 3D printer. And the brand we're looking at today is brought to you by Cheeto Systems. If you're not familiar with that, they make the Cheeto boards that are in our resin 3D printers, and they also make a lot of the screens, and they also make Cheeto Box. Cheeto Systems reached out to me, and they wanted me to try out their resin. Jang He, I'm probably botching the name. Today, we're doing the skin color resin and this was sent to me for free but I'm still gonna test it out and I'm still gonna give my honest opinion like I always do so we're gonna try this out today I'm gonna box it real quick in front of you guys I haven't even seen it yet it's taped up let's see how this stuff is packaged all right it's in a nice bubble wrap open that up <laughs> that's pretty cool looking look at that nice looking bottle big and it's that's metal, guys. That's metal with a plastic top, and it's sealed. Before we crack this open, let's go over to the computer and see what settings we need to put in. All right, so this is what we're looking at here. This is the resin. This is the price point. They do run sales. Obviously, I'll show you the gray. Right now, they're running that for $34.99, and that's for 1,000 grams. So right now, the skin color, because it's probably selling out, is that price. Like I said, it's an ABS-like material. We're going to test that today. So what we're going to do is I'll drag this over here. I'm doing the Deadpool that I always do because it's just a good test and there's no supports. So I don't really have to worry about anything with that. The settings that I'm using in the Elegoo Mars, I have the standard gray resin and they have the skin tone in here. I did not see on the website anything saying about what the exposure or anything like that should be. I would assume that it's the same as the Elegoo settings. If you don't have these settings in your printer, we it's gonna be different for every printer, but I'll just show you what my setup is for the skin tone. So if you wanna take a screen grab, you could do that and you can see it. that's what I'm gonna be using here today. Let's click out of this. We're going to put this model at this scale right here, which is 32.5%. That is the Deadpool model. I will leave the model if you wanna print it and test it yourself down in the description down below. That is the basic settings. I just wanted to show you that just in case you had any questions, you got the stuff and you don't know, we're gonna test it out with just the basic basic Elegoo settings. So that's just the Elegoo skin tone. It looks like the settings are the same, just in case you have a different type of printer. Those are the settings. See if you have a, a resin that's close to it, it's probably gonna be exactly the same, as far as I know. Make sure you got some gloves, because you can't touch this stuff, guys, and you really shouldn't be breathing it in. I do have an exhaust fan. I'm not putting that on yet, because I'm doing a video and I don't want to mess up the sound. It's just going to be real quick. I'm going to pop it open, and then I'm going to pour it into the vat. Before you even open it, shake it up. We want to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I like to shake it for a good 20 seconds. We're going to go ahead and pop this open. It just has a little clip there. Kind of just breaks off. Probably should have opened this before I put my gloves on. Look at that. Not only is it sealed, but it's sealed again inside there. That's really nice. I guess to stop it from leaking out. Let's open that up. Oh, this is gonna go. It just pops open. I'm gonna hold on to that because I think I'm gonna stick that back in after I'm done using it. And you'll see behind me, I actually use Mean Green to actually clean my models. I don't use alcohol because alcohol is really hard to find right now. So I rinse it in the Mean Green, which is a degreaser, and then I put it in the water. Just in case any of you were wondering what those two pickle jars are there for, that's what that's there for. Now, we're just gonna pour this beautiful stuff right in there. Let's see, ooh. That's some thick stuff. All right, everything's leveled. Everything's ready to go. Let's go ahead and print this bad boy, shall we? All right, so I have that printing. We got five hours to go, so I'll come back 
to you guys after it's done printing. And I have the same print with the regular Elegoo Mars, and we'll see how they compare. I just Notice this, I was just going to say this, this was in the packaging, it's actually a little screen filter for when you're done with it, you pour it back into your resin and they actually supply that in there, they didn't need to do that, that's pretty nice, I mean it's only one, but at least it's something. Alright guys, so it's been over a week, I got a couple prints I'm going to show you, the stuff's been working mint, I want to show you real quick what it sounds like when it's printing. It's a very gentle noise. Yeah, it didn't really sound like it was sticking that much, but it was, and it was actually moving pretty good. Stuff's really thick. A little harder to clean, I will say this, guys. It is a little harder to clean because it's a thicker, more potent type of a material. More substance to it, I will definitely say that, because cleaning it was a little harder than the Elegoo resin, just for comparison. Speaking of which, let me show you my prints. All right, so here are the two Deadpools. In the skin tone resin, I have the Jeng He resin that we're working with right here, ABS-like. And on this side, I have just the regular Elegoo Gray. Uh, just looking at them, the quality is really awesome. I don't really see much difference as far as quality. The print quality came out mint. It was the same printer, so of course, the qu print quality should look great. The resin did great. I really don't have any complaints about this resin. I mean, it, it printed beautifully. It didn't sound like it was sticking, like I said earlier, but it was sticking and it was doing quite well. Now, instead of me showing you a bunch of prints one by one, I figured we'd do just one giant print. I did my favorite Jedi. Well, I guess she's not a Jedi anymore, but she was a Jedi, Ahsoka Tana. And this is a multi-print. It took most of the resin that I have here to print this model, but it was multiple prints and it had to be put together. And you could see, I, I didn't fix it up yet and I don't have all the pieces on it, but you could see the print quality Quality, I think is amazing. The, the model, I'll leave in the description down below. Very talented artist, but everything worked great. I think she came out amazing looking. I can't wait to clean her up, finish her off. And like I said, I really did very minimal cleaning to this and paint her. I, I, I think this is gonna be a great little project to paint and you know fill in some of the leg pieces and stuff like that. I think this is gonna be a really fun project. I'm really excited about this. The base was done because my printer is not big enough. The base was done with Duramic 3D. PLA Plus, so I did cheat there, I did do that because I don't have a big enough bed to print this out. I think she came out amazing, I did drop her parts quite a bit, and this stuff is pretty strong. I like the metal container, I feel it was easier to plug it and shake it, I wasn't worried about the top coming off, and it had more weight to it, so when I poured out the resin and reused it, I didn't have to worry about it tipping over, so definitely like that as a plus. Jang He, really good stuff. After messing with it, I give it a five out of five, guys. I think it's a really good resin. I mean, if you're into resin 3D printing, I would definitely pick it up. It's strong stuff. I've dropped these several times and they didn't break. Pretty impressed with it, guys. So I give it a five out of five, guys. Definitely worth picking up. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. And ring that bell if you want to get notified when I make another video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Yes, I have lots of practice. You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just putting it out there.